want to be perfectly clear. Service dogs are protected by the law. It is illegal to deny service because of these types of dogs. Forward. I know. Jordan Reach is legally blind and says she doesn't go anywhere without her guide dog, Blue. I have retinitis pigmentosa. It's a genetic condition that causes gradual vision loss kind of from the outside in. So I have no peripheral vision. Um, if I put my hand, I can't see it till it's right here. So severe tunnel vision. I'm also night blind. Jordan tells me she was born with the condition and was declared legally blind at around 12 years old. Her vision will continue to worsen, and she says there have been drastic changes in the past year. As a physician's assistant, she commutes from downtown Tampa to Largo three times a week, twice a day for the past four months. She tells me she's fed up that her dog, Blue, is routinely denied service from drivers from Uber and Lyft. It's stressful. I never know if my Uber is going to deny my ride or not. First guy was very rude, just said, no dogs, no dogs. I said, he's a service dog. He said, I don't care, canceled the trip and drove off. Federal law protects service dogs and Uber and Lyft both have policies online reiterating that drivers are required to follow the law and can lose their positions with the ride share companies if they don't. Still, Jordan says Blue is denied service about once a week. I have had a couple outright refusals to let Blue in the car. Despite me telling him that he's a service dog, he's in his harness, he's clearly providing me a service. Um, uh, if they don't outright refuse him, cancel the trip and leave, then they'll fight me on it. So she's sharing her story in hopes she can educate other drivers so they make different decisions. You know, we're already dependent on this system that should hopefully work for us, right? And it's just another, another hurdle that we have to kind of try to navigate. So just know the law. <laughs> Now, Jordan tells me many drivers are great and typically remark at how well-trained Blue is. But again, denying service to a guide dog is not only illegal, it's just wrong. And Jordan tells me that she hopes that this story reminds everyone of that. So what kind of feedback does she get from a driver when she's, uh, you know, taking the dog and they're saying, no, we don't want that? What's happening there? Well, a lot of times they don't give her any explanation at all. She says sometimes they say that they just don't want dog hair in the car, and other times they just plain say no. She tells me that she thinks it's an education problem, and she wants to remind people that guide dogs go through two years experience of training, and they're extremely well behaved. So this is not a dog that's going to be jumping all over your vehicle. Right. This dog gets in the floorboard, sits right between her legs, and just sits there the entire time and doesn't make a peep. All right. Well, thank you mm -hmm. for bringing that to our attention, Shannon.